Over the past four years on YouTube, we have had trends of awful channels come and go. Channels like pranksters and reaction videos in their time were debatably the worst type of content on YouTube. The new trend of channels that I think are the worst on this platform aren't as bad as prank channels, but at times I think they become worse than the reaction videos that everyone has hated before. The new type of bad channels on YouTube are compilation channels. Channels like Shook, Exposed, Beef, and Daniela are what I'm talking about. If you have ever seen a video entitled, 4 minutes of Shane Dawson being relatable, or something along those lines, then you know what type of channels I am talking about. These channels aren't genuine, and they certainly aren't unique, original, or creative. They build a following off of content that is not their own. They almost remind me of reaction channels, except reaction channels put the video in the corner and their face in the rest of the frame. The compilation channels just uploads the video, and no reaction, which to me makes them worse. If you watch the channels that I'm talking about, don't feel anything personal. This is nothing about the viewers, it's all about the channels and the people running it. The videos uploaded by these channels are funny because the original videos were funny. You enjoy a th three minute video of Garrett Watson knowing Shane because those two were genuinely funny. I enjoy the videos made by these channels because the videos that they take from are funny themselves. And that's why a compilation channel would take the video and upload it. In fact, I liked the videos made by these channels until I thought about what they were doing to the YouTube ecosystem of content. When dealing with larger creators' content, they just regurgitate videos that you've seen before and don't create anything new. Also, while doing research on this video, I saw watermarks made by these channels on their compilation videos so that nobody could take their hard work and re-upload it. How ironic. They even put their own watermark over the original content creator's watermark. I want to fucking die. <laughs> These channels have two types of videos, and you can separate it by the size of content creator that they take the content from, and each type has issues to me. The first type of video these channels make are from bigger channels. These are typically compilation videos of Shane, James Charles, and others like that. They typically take the funniest clips from these channels and videos, splice them together, and re-upload it. On a surface level, these videos don't seem too bad, but you're literally taking the best parts of a video and uploading it. If I was reconsidering watching Shane's Queen Mary video, and then I saw a compilation video from Exposed that was essentially the best parts edited down to a quick video, I might not be so inclined to rewatch that video. And because for larger creators this is their livelihood, having a compilation video of Shane get 300,000 views, that's definitely taken from Shane's view count. A perfect example of this is a video uploaded by Lily that has 1.1 million views of Shane doing ASMR. It literally is just the part of the ASMR video that Shane did where he's actually doing ASMR. Undoubtedly, it is the best part of the video, and Lily just took it, cut out the other stuff in the video, and then re-uploaded it in its entirety. This isn't creative. This is stealing. When these channels deal with smaller content creators for me, it gets even worse. For most of them, it's a quick one to two minute video from the original creator, and these channels just take those videos and re-uploads it. They give credit in the description, but to me that isn't enough. How about you just don't steal an original video in its entirety? Sure, they give credit, but so did Jinx when he was popular, and everyone still shit on him. And I don't see how it's any different. I've seen this many times, like when Exposed uploaded a video from a... Uh, a video from this channel, and while the original content creator seemed cool with it, I doubt not every single one of the original creators would be. You're just gaining success off of content that isn't yours, and that's not a good thing. A video I was going to use was by Shook, and it was going to be for when I said not every video from these channels were bad. It's a video entitled An Example of What My Mom Gets Mad at Me About. So I assumed it literally was Shook's mom, and it was an original video. Turns out some light googling returns that it isn't, and it's been uploaded before. And the earliest I can trace back this video is to a Reddit post about three months before Shook posted it. Even though Shook's video wasn't original, there is a fine line, and I'm not saying every compilation video is an unoriginal video, because that isn't the case. Some of these channels make original videos from time to time, and when they edit compilation videos in a way that alters the original video, then that's great. Like the ones Jenna Marbles saw in her own channel, where the compilation video was about marbles, and they added text to the video and zoomed in on the dog in a comedic way. It isn't always black and white, but when you just deadass steal a video or download it, splice it up, and re-upload it, that's when we have a problem. These channels are literally all the same. You get nothing new from each channel. If you've seen Beef, you've seen Shook, and you've seen Exposed, and you've seen Daniela, and you've seen every other garbage channel that is making these types of videos. 
A perfect example of this is when four channels uploaded a stolen video of the same girl singing along to songs in her personal style. And two of these videos were the exact same. These channels aren't good. They are not creative. They aren't original. They aren't anything. They're building success and possibly even revenue off of other people's content, and that isn't right. It is just stealing. Hey guys, so I don't really have much to say after this video, just, um, I do have a Twitter now if you want to follow it. As of right now, it's only going to be updates for when new videos are going to be coming out or how far along I am in the process of making a new video, but if you want to follow it, you can, I guess. I'm not too inclined to update it as of right now because I have zero followers, but yeah, that's about it. Link to that is in the description, and I'll be putting out new content soon. Much love.